I have made this small demo for state state explanation. Let me go through with the code a little bit and after that we can see this. So this is just a Next.js project and very, very basic things. So what I have done here, I have just made a utils folder and there is a callbacks file and I have uh, integrated this uh, set set uh, set set target here um, uh, actually i have copied it from uh, scale up consulting slash set uh, github github repository i don't know 100 percent about it like uh, how this thing is working but uh, some of the things i know like this can be a replacement of redux uh, some other tools like context uh, and yeah pretty much redux so we can use this as a, a as a global state and we can use this uh, we can use this set state, uh, set state in uh, uh, two different files uh, whether they are connected or not no need to connect that two files uh, but we can still share uh, state between between those two files so uh, this is a this is a set state target and if i if i want to make a state we can uh, we can make it something like this i just need to uh, assign instance of the set state target and uh, i'm just exporting exporting this demo set state and now uh, i have one uh, this is the main um, main file which will be loaded in uh, uh, which will be loaded initially. So what I'm doing here, I have made one uh, one another component called demo, which I have stored in components folder. So in in demo.js file, I have just only one input. Uh, just uh, this is the input. So I'm uh, first of all. I want to uh, I want to share uh, value of this input in my main page, which is uh, which is this the main page is here home page. Okay, so uh, this is the demo page, and I am using this demo component in uh, in my home page, just like here. But I'm not passing any kind of props, just calling calling the component and rendering here. So if I want to uh, share uh, share state uh, between two files then i'm just uh, i'm just making a regular uh, just like a regular use state i'm just making a state but uh, instead of use state i will use the set set target which we just made in uh, the callback callbacks.js file uh, just like this so uh, demo set state dot demo set state and uh, in there there is a use set state method which is uh, i guess which is similar to uh, use effect uh, so i i will call demo set state dot use, uh, use set state instead of uh, a very basic use state from react okay so if i if i want to uh, share value of this uh, this state then I can uh, I, I I just need to behave like uh, I am I am only using basic use state and it will do all of the work by itself. I'm just uh, uh, setting input. I mean uh, setting the state and when I'm when I'm uh, when I'm setting the value to this uh, to this state uh, another file which is which is already using this thing. I mean, in demo.js file, it, this is uh, it. It is already using the the same line, so I would be able to so I would be uh, able to get a value. I mean, the updated value in here. And if I if I'm if I'm setting value uh, from from this component, then I would be able to uh, get that value in this index.js file. And now let me share you a quick result. So this is a component page and this is a home page. So if I want to uh, send value from component page to index page, then uh, 
I'm just writing some of the words here, and you can see without any connection and uh, just with shared state, I'm able to uh, get value in home page. So this is how shared state is working. And if I uh, edit something here in from home page, then it will uh, we will be able to see changes directly in component page. Just like this. So this is how use state works. Uh, according to me, uh, we can use this set state instead of Redux when we uh, when we want to exchange data between files and we don't want to install stuff like Redux because the the progress is very lengthy compared to set state. With with use set state, uh, we we only just need to have a uh, we just only need this callback.js file or any any name you want. We just need this target, and uh, in this case, I'm sharing one one state uh, for uh, for these inputs. And if I want to make any other state to be shared, then uh, I would just make another state like uh, maybe a user profile user profile data and i can pass value of set set target here so i would be able to use this use uh, user profile data in very uh, in, in so many uh, uh, different files which are not connected uh, so this is how we can uh, make a new set state and uh, use them just like this this is how i practice to explain so if you if you find any misunderstanding from my side so uh, you can uh, explain it in better way let me let me ask you a question instead how okay. do you set the initial value of the component of yeah. the of the state yeah so uh, in demo.js file, I am just uh, uh, as the initial value, it's a blank string. Yeah. Sorry, you're setting it in the component, but then how do the uh, other components have the same initial state? Uh, uh, there, I didn't pass anything. Right. So, yeah, your answer is wrong. If you go to callbacks.js, the initial value goes in callbacks.js in the constructor on line 29 and 30. Uh, 29 and 30 here. Here, the initial state goes here. Yeah, because this okay, is the thing so, that happens once. Yeah. So if I pass some value here, so I should be able to see. Okay. Understood. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is changed from the previous version. I know the previous version of the hook, it was, like you said, um, yeah. they had this issue where, you know, you had to put the same initial value in every component or they would have different initial values. Yeah. It was very strange. So I moved it. Yeah, I moved it to the, to the constructor. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else uh, you feel like uh, I'm going in wrong direction so I can improve from my side? Uh, but no, if, if I, I think that's the main thing was the initial value. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Arun has a question, but I'm just the uh, the other thing is um like it's good to show how you can use the the shared state in a in a scenario where you may have multiple shared states of the same type. So it's like you can you can put shared state inside of context. It doesn't have to be a global variable, um, and so that way you can have different instances of shared state in the component tree in different parts of the tree uh you mean it's kind uh, of should... hard to explain without an example yes yes but... can you please uh, explain a little bit about this stuff because some of some of the things uh, from this file is not understandable because we are not uh, using this kind of things like event targets in uh, usual javascript code and you, so actually, you are using event target in your normal JavaScript code. 
every time you put in like a on click, that's using event target. Okay, just that's, like uh, that's the listener, right? And uh, event target is very similar to listener. Event tar- element is a type of event target. So any HTML element is an event target. Okay. Right. So this is built into the browser because element already is an event target. So this is why. So that's that's why line six is checking for SSR because if it's SSR, then this thing is disabled. This requires to run in a browser. And it's uh, yeah, so it uses event target. So if you think of if you think of this as similar to an element, um, instead of an on click handler, I created a custom event which I've called set. So on line on line fifteen, is it it's calling the it's calling the event, it's triggering the event on line sixteen, and on line eighteen, it's listening for the event. Sorry, on line twenty, on line twenty, it's listening for the event. Yeah. Yeah, on line 20, it listens for the event and it sets the state within the uh, the class instance, the object instance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, it calls that state on all of the, all of the components which are listening to this, which is, yeah, set up on line 20 inside yeah. an effect. And then the the purpose of the initial state of new components is um, we had this bug on the transport app where if you uh, if you set the state the shared state and then later created a component that used the shared state it wouldn't pick up this value um, so we have to keep track of what is the initial state whenever we create a new component that's going to use this hook so that it picks up that as the initial state and it doesn't use the it doesn't use the default state. It actually uses the new, the updated state. We had a question similar to what you asked, but uh, like if uh, we set uh, the state in the com- com- in that in two different components, uh, um, if in if in demo js i uh, i give value uh, different value and in the index i give different value to the oh. same state then what would, what would happen? okay so actually i was not uh, totally sure about the uh, initialization of the value from different components but as as per jain uh, explained uh, in this new version of said state we can uh, init- initialize value directly from here because I I remember from uh, in in previous version we were uh, used to uh, initialize value from different components so there was a bug. Is that did that answer your question, Arun? Actually, that, that's a solution, but I just wanted to know what, what would happen if like. Uh, we give the same state different value at the initialization of uh, an component. You you can't because the com- the initial value is before the component is created. The initial value is at the global scope. It's done when the file is imported, the first time it's imported. Can you go back to line twenty nine of callback JS, Bowen? This one. This is where the initial value is. So you can't have the components is not setting the initial value. Uh, the, uh, there is a value uh, passed uh, to like in demo JS, there is an empty value passed. Uh, can I go to that uh, demo JS? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and there was a. Uh, empty string passed here yeah that that was an yeah. error this is this argument is ignored there's no yes. argument here okay let's just try if i'm if i'm passing something here then that should be ignored because the value of the set set is already initialized okay you, so you can look in if you look in callbacks js line 13 mm-hmm. you can see there's no argument yeah. So it doesn't matter what you give it, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. 
so any anyone else has any questions about such that Uh, then can you explain again about uh, uh, like if we introduce a new component and then how would we uh, get the update state uh, to that component you don't you don't have to do anything special you just use shared state and it will give you the initial value of that state will be the the last value that it was set to only print the value okay so in new component i am just having this line and my uh, and my work is done no need to do anything in this component uh, let me just call it here you can make it conditional that it only is mounted if there is something in this in the input yeah okay yeah Okay. that will be more interesting as well yeah okay. so i'm only taking null input then okay. then show demo right yeah yeah so now this doesn't this component is not mounted until, until there's a value in there so if you paste the value in there it types the value then it should appear yeah, just like that and and yeah this empty space is because of this section let me just remove it so it didn't okay okay and okay okay is that clear or now yeah you don't have to do anything special yeah, yeah. yeah just use the hook like you use use state don't give it an initial value okay so i think the shared spread concept is clear to everybody